I am hopping on here to share some quick projects using the new KS Craft dies. I have been cleaning my craft room, but I'm taking a little break to just play with some of the stuff that was sent to me. I am on the design team and these dies were sent to me for free. So I wanted to hop on here and share with you guys what I have been making. So unfortunately, I don't have any finished projects to share at the moment. Everything is still kind of in the process of being um, completed, but I know some of these dies are starting to sell out already. So I wanted to go ahead and share what I had created um, so that you guys can see what they look like and kind of make your decisions about what you're interested in. Um, not to worry if it does sell out, they will restock. So um, you'll still be able to get your hands on these dies. Um, it just may take a bit. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to share was um, this Ice Cream Shop mini album. This thing is such a huge, good size. If you're going to use this as a mini album, uh, you're going to be able to put a ton of photos in here. Um, this thing is about, let's see here, uh, just a little over, well, let's see here, almost eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. And so this is a really good size. I did uh, go ahead and put mine together. I'm not going to create a mini album. I have another idea of what I'm going to make with this. So um, I will post that as soon as I get it finished up. Um, but again, I just wanted to go ahead and share what I had made, but look how cute this thing is. It's so cute. It comes with the die set comes with all the pieces that you need. Um, and I just layered everything up really cute. Um, I used uh, these little um, bushes here are from another KS Craft set. I will uh, link that set in the description box below. So that's the only thing I added. Um, and then I also added these little hearts, which are also part of a KS Craft set. Um, but everything else comes with the collection. And I just added a little button up here for the cherry on top of the ice cream. And I just think this is the cutest thing ever. I absolutely love it. This is such a must have in your stash. So uh, this is what I have created uh, with this particular die set. And again, I'm not quite finished with it. I have a project in mind. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, I also die cut all of these um, shadow words and I die cut them out twice. So I'm going to have a whole bunch to work with. And I just cut them out in this like light pink color, which matches the collection that I'm using. And um, that way I'll have them and then I stitch through them with some pink thread. And so I've got these ready to go for some future projects. So this is kind of my process. I usually die cut all the words out and then sort of get them ready to go. Um, I'll probably also use my white gel pen and kind of add some highlights to them like I like to do. Um, but look how cute you get so many fun words. You get ice cream and sweet, which this sweet word could also be used for like fruit swaps and fruit projects. Um, you've got yum and frozen, which could also be used in the winter time. Creamery and treat great for Halloween. So you can use this, this set like all year round really cute. So I've got those ready to go. And then I put together these little ice cream trucks and you guys look how stinking cute this little ice cream truck is. Oh, I just love it so much. It turned out really, really cute. Um, I did cut out extra ice creams cause I really wanted to line them up here. I think the set comes with five and I put seven on my trucks and I love this little ice cream die set up here. I actually cut out a few extras of these and trimmed off the tabs so that I could use them on some projects just by itself. Um, so I made, created this little truck here and um, this truck. So really, really cute. I love how this turned out. It was really easy to put together. Um, yes, the little ice creams are very teeny tiny, but I just used one of those little pickup sticks and um, you and like put a little dot of glue and then use those to put them together and they came out very quickly and the die comes with the pieces um, so that you can just you know cut them out in one pass so um, that was really nice I didn't have to cut out each 
individual ice cream and like lay the die on there. It's all kind of together. Um, so that was really cute. And I think the little ice cream trucks turned out so sweet. So there are those. And then these are the bag toppers. Uh, this is the ice cream sundae. And I'm not quite finished with this. I'll probably put like a bow up here, maybe a charm or something hanging off of this. Uh, but this is where I'm at so far with it. So that is the ice cream sundae bag topper. Really, really cute. And then this is the um, ice cream sundae shaker die set. And I did not create mine into a shaker because I wanted to show you that you don't have to. You can use it as a flat embellishment. So I just didn't use the shaker piece and I just layered up my ice creams and put my spoon on some foam tape and then I put that on foam tape as well. And then you've got these really cute little ice cream sundaes that you can turn into shakers if you want to. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, they can totally be used as is. So that's what I have done so far. Like I said um, in a previous video, I am in the process of like a major craft room clean out. And I'm finally at a stopping place where I can sit down and craft for a little bit. Uh, I'm not finished crap cleaning my room. I probably still have another week of cleaning left, um, but I am going to just sort of pause that for a little bit and do some crafting. Um, so I should have some finished projects to share with you guys soon. But again, I wanted to just share these because I know these dies are selling out super fast and um, people are looking for samples. I know I like to see a lot of samples before I decide whether or not I'm going to purchase something. So I totally get that. And so I wanted to go ahead and just share what I had created for you so that you can make, you know, an educated decision. Um, again, I am on the design team and these dies were sent to me for free and I'll have all the links in the description box below. If anything is sold out, just, um, you know, hold tight. They will restock soon. I know that this is a very popular release and everybody is um, kind of going crazy for it. And I totally get it because everything in this release is over the top adorable. Okay, so I will uh, talk to you guys later. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will uh, see you soon. All right, bye.